knew you could read it, Diane James. Philip Broughton, um, you stood against her. Uh, you thought you could uh, widen UKIP's appeal in the North, target those Labour seats. Can she? I think Diane has a good chance of doing that, yes. I think what we have to do as a political party is we have to broaden our message so we talk about more than just Europe and immigration. We have to change our tone because I believe the way we say things is just as important as the words we use. And I would say to Diane, we've got to get on with the job because we've got a real chance here in the North against a Labour Party that is absolutely falling apart. But we've got to get out there and campaign as hard as we can and really be the party of change. But I suppose the danger is the opportunity could be lost. Because Nigel Farage, a big figure, everyone knew who he was. This is someone with Margaret Thatcher as her political hero. She believes in grammar schools. Someone with instincts, I guess, a small government, low taxation. That's going to be a struggle to sell to traditional Labour voters. I think we're also the party that wants to protect the NHS, though. We want to stop the privatisation that was started by Blair, has been carried on by Cameron. You know, I would argue very much that we need a fair economy. We need to actually cut the tax on the lowest paid workers to actually help them get through the well, difficult economic times doing, we have. But you talk about speaking to... I don't know quite what you mean. What do you mean by a different kind of tone? Well, what I mean is we've got to make sure we get our messaging right because sometimes I think people can get the wrong end of the stick with what they hear from you. We have to be very clear. We have to communicate our message very and very focused. Well, give me an example of where you've got it wrong. Well, I think one of the one of the issues was when Nigel Farage talked about HIV during the general election in the TV debate. I thought that was the wrong tone. It was the wrong message. What we wanted to say was we believe in a national health service, not an international health service. But look, Richard, I'm very proud that I had the guts and the bottle to see this through and fight in the leadership contest. UKIP has an amazing opportunity, but we've got to do the right things. And I think we should have had TV debates. I think it was a big mistake that we didn't have TV didn't debates. Take part in any of those. Diane refused to take part in any of those debates. We should have had those debates. And also, the other frustration I had with the contest was that myself and the other leadership candidates were supposed to have a speech at the party conference. We were not allowed to speak, and I think that's wrong. Okay, all right. So, uh, 